Wake up, you've been waiting for this. Our first look at consistent styles in Mid Journey. Take a look at how cool these images are. I, I can't believe it, this is absolutely amazing. There's a lot to go over. I'll break it down in simple terms, but why don't we get started with an example. The way consistent style works is by providing Mid Journey with a reference image something that you want all of your generations to look like. I recommend you upload this picture to Discord, and you can do this through the little plus button beside the prompt box. Upload file, select it from your computer. You can select any image. It does not have to be made by Mid Journey. I've chosen this one here. I like the color palette. And then inside the prompt box, you can choose whatever subjects you want. Here we have a dog, a cat, a stallion, and then some poetry. Roses are blue. I use permutations here just to save some time, but to trigger the consistent style, you have to type in the new parameter, dash dash S R E F, S ref style reference. That's what this new feature is called. Subject prompt dash dash S ref. And then what you need to do is make sure you hit the space bar so that there's a space after dash dash S ref. And then you're going to go up to your picture and you're simply going to click on it and drag it down into the prompt box. Again, make sure there is a space between S ref and your link. That's going to make a difference. And don't worry if your link looks really long like this one, it's going to get shortened after you hit enter. So when I hit enter, it's going to ask me if I want to generate these four prompts. I'll hit yes and then take a look at this. There's our dog. Oh my God, isn't that so cool? But then take a look at the cat. There's our cat in the same style. Like, How does it do? This is amazing. Look, you could get these sort of results in the past using a combination of maybe style tuning and the remix feature. But now you do not have to do that. All you have to do is provide an image reference, a style reference, and then any subject will be translated to that style. Like, oh. So many goosebumps, this is, this is insane. I really can't overstate how big of a deal I think this is. Can't wait to see you all play around with this and I can't wait for you to teach me what you've learned. There's still a lot more to go over. Let's finish with the examples. There's our stallion, number four is incredible. And then the poetry even turned out pretty good, especially considering I used a color like blue and an implied color like roses. It still kept the style, which means the style reference isn't just about color. It has a lot to do with color as you saw from the other examples, but somehow Mid Journey picks up the intricacies, those fine details that it's honestly just hard to put into words. And if you're new here, my name is Nolan. It's my goal to make learning AI as straightforward as possible. If you've learned something new so far, please leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I need your help with that. Thanks. Okay, but what else do you need to know? Well, there's like two or three more things. The first is a new image weight you can provide, and that image weight refers to the style. Dash dash SW is the style weight. You can choose between 0 and 1000, just like the stylized value, and the default is also 100. Here's a good example of seeing that weight in action. First of all, here's Batman at the default style weight 100, which is why it doesn't show up in the prompt. Here's Batman at style weight 1000. Much more in tune with the picture we provided. And at the opposite end of the spectrum, style weight 0, our reference image did not come through at all. Like, at all. So, what's the fine line? How much style weight should you use? Honestly, I recommend leaving it right at the default 100, which means you don't have to specify it in your prompt. But what's the minimum amount you should use? The number is actually 20, and I'll show you why right now. I used a different style reference for this example, and you can see it in this picture right here. Quite colorful, quite a lot of movement, a lot of energy in this image. I wrote Batman in a yellow bat suit eating pizza in the bat cave because I love that prompt from our last Niji 6 video. I use style weight 20 and this is what we get. Even at just a weight of 20 you can still see the colors and the essence of that reference image come through these generations. However, when we lower it to just 10, this is what we get. And I think you can clearly tell that the reference image had no part to play in these generations. You would have no idea what reference image I chose if you looked at these. Here it is down to 5, and here it is down to 1. 0 to 10, and your style reference will have no effect on your generation. Alright, the next thing I want to talk to you about is what should you put in the prompt? Should it just be the subject? Or 
Let me show you. I chose this cartoon reference for these next examples. I love this look. So here we have just Wonder Woman, and then here's just Batman, and here's Thor. Not really what I had in mind, right? But take a look at this. Wonder Woman, 1990s anime screenshot. Amazing. Batman, same thing. Thor, same thing incredible art all consistent and i think that is helped by providing more context in the prompt you don't have to describe the reference image in your prompt but it sure does help a lot what else you might have noticed is that i included a very high stylized value s1000 i recommend this i think the stylized value plays a big part in your generations here not the style weight the stylized value Maybe 1000 is too much, 100 is the default, but I don't think you can go wrong in using this. And look, the chaos value is incredible with style references. Like, amazing, I can't believe how well it works. I bumped these all the way up to chaos 50. If you did this on a regular prompt, you would get nonsense, and here you get something really cool. Don't be afraid to use the chaos value with this new feature. Okay, now on to the last thing you should know about, and that is combining style references. You can choose more than one. For this next example, I use this image and this image. And when you write your prompt, it will look something like this. Batman dash dash S R E F space, then we're going to drag our image, make sure you hit space again, then we're going to drag our second image, and you can hit enter from here, which will create a generation like this. Okay, pretty cool, but it's hard to tell which part came out of which style, so maybe you want to add some weights to the individual pictures. And here's how you do that. After your image link, you're going to put a space followed by two colons and then a number. Here we gave a weight of two to that orange jet. And all of a sudden you can start to see the orange come clearly through the generation. Here it is with a weight of three, even more orange, less Batman I would say. And here it is with a weight of four. I like number three a lot. The weight of four means that that one reference image, that one style reference, is four times more important than the other style reference. If we were to reverse it and give that other abstract style reference a weight of two, this is what we start to get. Here it is at a weight of three, and here it is at a weight of four. Basically no orange left at all. You can combine more than one style reference, and if you want to add a weight to compare the two, make sure you leave a space, add two colons, then put the number you want. Do this after each reference link, and don't forget you need dash dash s r e f before all of that. Just a reminder, there are some free PDFs in the description below based on version 6. I'm working on some more. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. I hope this was a good brief introduction to this new feature. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.